Finding the right foundation can be a tricky task involving a lot of trial and error. And it can be even more difficult when you have dark skin. The number of options is so limited, but that is slowly changing. And Tracy P joins us now with her roundup of makeup artist approved options on the market from the drug store, from the department store, and from black owned brands. And T, before we even get started, I understand the idea for this segment actually came from your followers. Yeah, uh, they're always uh, writing me, asking me, you know, listen, they're either wearing the wrong color or they're just frustrated and they just want to give up altogether. And I have the good fortune of trying all these different companies. So I just want to share this information with people and, and, and so they don't give up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you for that. We appreciate it. So first up, you're going to show us the best foundation options from the drugstore. Yes, so we got Maybelline over here. Maybelline has the Fit Me Foundations. They have two formulas. Okay, so they got the Hydrate and Smooth. That's for someone who has more of like a normal to dry skin. And then they have the Matte Poreless for someone who has more normal to oilier skin. They both have an SPF uh, 18. Um, dark skin, we still have to wear our SPF, uh, so don't get that twisted. I wear a Java. Now there is a color, just to give you context, there's another color that's about a color and a half darker, and that one's called Espresso. But just to give you a little bit of a note, the, the darker colors run a little bit cool. So if you have a cooler mm. undertone, these are going to work really well on you. And we'll get into undertones in just a bit. And over here, we have NYX Cosmetics. Uh, we have the Can't Stop, Won't Stop uh, foundation, as well as powder. I find these ones run a little bit warm. So if you have a little bit more of a red undertone, a little bit warmer undertone, these ones are going to work really well on you. Um, they also have the Can't Stop, Won't Stop powders. They're really buildable. They give you good coverage. And I know they look lighter, just so, for you, so you know this is going to be a theme through the whole segment, is powders, especially powders, always look lighter. No matter what company it is, they always look lighter. So you can't just look at it and say, oh, that's not going to be the color for me. Because even though this looks a lot lighter than me, believe me, this is a color that I would wear. Okay, so people need to just keep that in mind. You actually have to try on the colors. This is why we need a professional telling us this information. That's really interesting. Like, I wouldn't have figured that out. So when it comes to spending a bit more tea at department stores or beauty retailers, what are your top picks? Okay, so we got the, the, the Mac over here, okay? They've been doing it right since 1984, since their inception here in Toronto. Whoop, whoop. Mm -hmm. um, people don't know that. Um, <laughs> um, Mac has always been inclusive because their philosophy is a little bit different than maybe other brands. This wasn't a company that was originally just for the regular retail, uh, like a um, consumer. It was uh, created for makeup artists, okay? The Mac, the M-A-C, is for makeup art cosmetics. Mm -hmm. So it was really originally for makeup artists. That's why they have the undertones. So let's get into undertones okay before we get started every single person no matter if you are white with alabaster skin all the way to the deepest deepest darkest ebony we all have undertones okay and it's also not something that's hereditary so some people say my mom my sister the same color as me and they wore that foundation it doesn't work on me because they could be a different undertone your mom could be cool and you could be a warm undertone that's how that works some dark skin is even has like a blue a blue black undertone or some people are just neutral and they can get away with wearing both okay so that's super important why if you you are a cool undertone and you wear a warm color, your color is going to look a little bit more red and it's going to end up looking dark by the end of the day. If you are a warm color and you're wearing something um, cool, you're going to look light, ashy, and gray. Okay, so that's why people have to understand the undertones. MAC it really has that mastered and they have the Studio Fix Fluid on down here. It's going to give you like a matte finish. They got the Studio Fix Sticks. These are really great on the go and the colors run very, very deep. Just to give you context, I wear NW50, NW55 in the summer it goes to NW60. I also got blushes down there because this is also a tip that I had to start with you when I first started doing your makeup. Mm -hmm. A lot of black women, but particularly dark skinned women, we don't realize that the blushes that we should be wearing should be the really bold, vibrant ones, not the dark ones. That just makes us look muddy. Yeah. If it looks like it belongs on a clown, that's the color for you, okay? <laughs> Go with the bright, bold <laughs> colors, okay? I know people are afraid, even when I used to hide it from you, because she'd be like, what are you doing? And it's like, I'm the bright color. People are afraid. But black skin, all black skin, but particularly dark skin, we need to go with these bright colors. And MAC has the great colors like that. Another company that is just fantastic for inclusion when it comes to colors is Makeup Forever. They have this Ultra HD um, foundation, and it gives you this really um, photoshopped look in person and uh, as well on camera. They have the reboot here that's really going to give you a dewy finish, and that's what I'm 
I'm wearing right now, the Reboot. It gives you mm -hmm. a little bit more coverage than a BB cream. And they also have the matte velvet. So they all these different foundations do different things, but they always run very, very dark. They also got the Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation too. That also runs deep and again, blushes for them. Very, very vibrant. Another one, she's new to the game, but she has solidified her spot in the beauty game. And that is Rihanna with her Fenty line. Fenty is really outdone themselves. This one here, they have their Pro um, Filtered Soft Matte Foundation. Again, these colors run really deep. I mean, their colors, their darkest ones are about two to three shades darker than I am. So that's really something to celebrate, mm -hmm. as well as this can be deceiving. If you look at the bottle, the, the product is a lot darker than what it looks like in the bottle. And try it on, do not hold up a bottle and think, oh, that won't work for me. You also got the Pro Filtered Instant um, Retouch Concealers. The colors run deep. And my favorite um, part of this line is the matchsticks. These, these are, um, these are contour sticks. Now, uh -huh. When does a dark-skinned woman ever have the option to find a contour stick? I mean, honestly, Tracy, this just <laughs> excites me. I mean, it's so <laughs> hard as a dark-skinned woman to find a contour stick. And I mean, these things excite me, Tracy, because for so long, we have been left out of the conversation. Black women in general, but particularly dark-skinned women, have been left out of the conversation. So I'm excited to bring you these lines that are finally including us. And uh, the Cheeks Out Cream Blush is also from Fenty. Bold colors as well. So colors we should be wearing to make ourselves look beautiful and vibrant yes it is exciting news and like it's it your excitement is contagious and that whole table looks gorgeous so <laughs> I want to get to the last category and it's foundation from black owned brands what do you have for us we got black owned brands and they're both Canadian, okay? So up front, we got one called Paba Cosmetics. It was founded in 2001. The founder, she created it because she couldn't found a find, find a foundation color that matched her. So she created the HD foundations. They're silicone based and they have a matte finish to them as well as she created the loose powders. They have different undertones to them as well. And she has the wet and dry um, foundations. Those are the ones in the powder. Again, don't look at it from looking at it with like, oh, that looks a little light. You have to try it on and they're cruelty free. and it, you can get them at Padba. Um, cosmetics.com. Up here we have Naji Cosmetics. They also have their HD foundation. It uh, gives you good coverage. It's hypoallergenic and it's also cruelty free. They also have their multi-purpose beauty stick. Now it's also a con uh, uh, foundation as well as a contouring stick and the colors run really really deep as well. I love it. It just it's really really deep in color and they also have their compact powders too and you can get that on www.nagicosmetics.com. Do you mind, T, if we put all this info online? Because people are going to want to know. We're going to get questions from the viewers about each one of these products. So we'll put it all on CityLine.tv. Cool? Yes, they all deserve shout outs because they're all inclusive and they're all shouting out dark skinned women. And I love that they are acknowledging that we exist. And I 